Hey everybody, it's I. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome if you're new today. I'm going to be doing my empties for March. So these are actually, I think, all makeup. Well, one's kind of makeup-ish um, products, but there's not that many because I was traveling for the majority of March and I, I bought a bunch of backups thinking that I was going to run out of a bunch of stuff and I needed just a little bit more time. So next month's empties will probably be a lot because I have a lot of products that are on their last leg. But I'm not going to cheat and like say they're empty for the sake of this video. So like my setting spray and cleanser and um, my primer is almost gone. Uh, a, bunch of, a bunch of other stuff. So I'll just show you what I actually have empty and uh, go from there. So the first thing is this Pacifica Cuban Mango Lip Balm. And it's down to that little plastic piece. I don't... If it was a really, really good lip balm, I would dig it out of there, but I did not like this one. I mean, the formula was okay, but I am, like, mango, peach, that kind of thing is my absolute favorite scents, flavors, whatever. Uh, like, if there's, like, peach pop or, like, mango smoothies or whatever, I'm all about it. So, this disappointed. It did not taste or smell like, or, I mean, it shouldn't taste. It didn't smell anything like mango, so not a fan. And that was five dollars. And then I have another one of these. I can never say this brand's name. Physicians Formula Mineral Wear uh, Talc Free Mineral Face Powder and Translucent. So that is totally gone. I did repress it. It was only on a little bit around the edges, and I repressed it and then used it all up while I was on um, on the trip. So. Um, this is totally gone and I have a backup of it. This is one of my favorite powders because it does have a little bit of SPF in it. It doesn't say on this, but it does say on the outside packaging. And so I don't know if it helps that much because powders, you'd have, you have to use a lot of powder SPF to get it to be as effective as a liquid. But I feel like it's helping at least peace of mind wise. And it does, it does say translucent, but it's not really. It does add a little bit more coverage to your foundation. And I like that. So... I would definitely repurchase this um, once I use up all of my other powders. That was $14. And then the last thing, I told you it was going to be short, this is the Physicians Formula Killer Curves Mascara. So I have talked about this a lot. This is my holy grail vegan cruelty free mascara. It does say vegan on the packaging and not on this packaging but the, the, you know, the other thing that it comes in. And I, yeah, this is my absolute favorite vegan cruelty free mascara that I've ever tried. I've gone through quite a few from Pacifica, a couple other, I think a couple other Physicians Formula ones, some Wet n Wild ones, some Elf, I haven't liked any of them, so this one is my absolute favorite. But it's getting old, it's not like empty empty, but it's 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 been more than three months, I'll say that. It does have that hourglass kind of wand, it really works well, and it does hold a curve like in the name suggests. So, yeah, pretty happy about this, and I, will, I have, I think, two more mascaras to go through and then I'll repurchase this one for sure. And that was $9. So the total for this month was $28. So again, not that much. And the total, so what I'm doing with these, I'm going to compare it to last year because I'm trying to see how being on a no buy affects the amount of empties that I have. So I was thinking like my hypothesis is that if I'm on a no buy and I'm not bringing in a bunch of new products I'm going to use up more but I think it's going to take me a little while to get over that hump of like using up things so um, it's not going so well so far but hopefully I'll start to catch up so last year in March I had $57 worth of empties and the total for this year is $110 and then the total for last year up until this point to the end of March is $198 so I am was that $88 behind? Uh, maybe I'll catch up. I'm not sure, but we'll see how it goes. So this is definitely not going like I expected. If I would have worn makeup every day while I was gone, I probably would have used a bunch more stuff. Like I say that every time, but like I don't wear makeup every day. But I'm pretty sure I would have because of my setting spray and the foundation. I probably could have used to have a foundation because I have one that's on its last legs that I brought with me that I just didn't use. It, so... Um, getting up at 7 a.m. or getting up to be at work at 7 a.m. so getting up at like 5, 5.30, not, makeup's not happening. <laughs> so that was it for this video. Let me know if you have empties or if you do empties videos and let me know what, if you have anything else that you want to see with these. I don't know what else you would want to see but 
If you have any suggestions for other videos that I could do that are like no buy, saving money related, let me know and I will see you in the next one. Bye.